In this video we're going to look at aircraft drag and in particular we're going to calculate the velocity at which the lift to drag ratio it is at its maximum. So if I had a particular aircraft that had a particular drag profile, a particular lift profile, and if I measured uh, the lift to drag uh, over the various airspeeds, airspeed down here on, on the bottom, I will find that at some particular airspeed the lift to drag ratio is at a max. Let's, let's say somewhere around here. Okay, but how can I actually numerically calculate that? Well, we can begin by expressing what is the lift to drag ratio. So the lift to drag ratio is simply the coefficient of lift over the coefficient of drag. And the coefficient of drag can be broken down into the form drag and parasite drag and the induced drag here. So if I want to find a maximum, I will differentiate it uh, with respect to the coefficient of lift and set it to equal to zero. So when I differentiate this equation, this is what I get. And if it's to be equal to zero, then the numerator here must be equal to zero. So I have a KCL squared minus, so CL into here gives me 2KCL squared. So plus K minus 2K gives me a minus K. So I get CDO minus KCL squared. If I rearrange that to bring CL to one side, I will get a value that CL, so the coefficient of lift, where lift to drag is at a maximum, is equal to square root of CD0 all over K. Okay, so I have my values and I want to substitute them back into the lift over drag equation. Well, there's the lift over drag. So the coefficient of lift at a maximum is um, CD0 over K. That's it there. And the coefficient of lift squared. Well, if I square this, I get CD0 over K. Uh, K. So CD0 over K, the two Ks will cancel. And I'm just left with 2CD0. So I have CD0 over K all over 2CD0. Just bring this out to one side. And 2CD0 is the same thing as uh, 1 over square root of 4 CD0, CD0 squared. So if I got the square root of that, I would just get 2CD0. All right, so I take that. If I have the square root of CD0 and the square root of CD0 squared, these will cancel out into uh, one another. So I get 1 over uh, 4 CD0 K. So that is when my lift to drag is at its max. Okay, but what velocity does that car at? Well, at the maximum coefficient of uh, lift, the, li the lift should be equal to the weight in steady state flight, and we will be flying at this particular velocity. So I'm going to substitute back in for the coefficient of lift at its max value, which is CD0 over K. And I'm just going to take this equation and rearrange it to get a, uh, a value for V. So I'll begin by bringing the S across. So that is the um, that is the wing loading. And then I'm just going to cross multiply and leave V squared lift to drag ratio max to one side, which gives me uh, this equation here. And I will show in a later video that that is equal to the velocity when thrust is at a minimum. And if the thrust is at a minimum, then the drag must be at a minimum too. 